we're here at TechCrunch Disrupt, and uh, who are you? Uh, I'm Lenold. I handle marketing for Radix, uh, which is a new domain registry. Uh, yeah, okay. What we're doing here is basically we own these new domain extensions. So like, you have that website, yes. that store, that Correct. host, that press, that space, that tech. I got a dot. I've got a few dot techs already. Yeah. So these domains are quite cool, right? They're amazing. I mean, look at it. Uh, just, just the fact that they're so self-explanatory. Just uh, if you have a dot tech, you already know what the website is about. If you have a dot press, you know it's going to be something to do with news or journalism. If it's a dot store, I, I don't even need to tell you what's going to be there on it. I, I, I go around to Shenzhen and stuff. I tell everybody, just get a dot tech. Right. Yeah, this is a good thing for tech companies. Just they can get a dot tech. Yes. Uh, so how how is it possible that you have this? What happened? Like uh, there was some kind of uh, uh, auction kind of thing? Yes. So uh, four years back, ICANN, which is the... Uh, organization that handles policy for the internet actually opened up uh, applications for new domain registries, uh, new domain extensions, and we were one of the companies that applied for them. Uh, we applied for quite a few of them, and uh, after that we had to go through a process in which some of them had to be, uh, we ha had multiple applicants for them. For example, .tech and .store uh, are ones that did had... Did compete with Google and Amazon? Yes, we did actually. Yeah. .store actually was one of the ones that we competed with uh, Google and Amazon, and uh, we won it in an auction. How can you win? How did you do to beat them? Uh, I mean, that's it's a it's an auction. It is, it's a closed auction that uh, we had to just pay more. Basically, that's it. There's yes. no like conditions about uh, we there can is, do something nice. There about is a it. condition about when you're applying for the domain name. Obviously, the I mean, I can check whether you have the technical capabilities and the financial capabilities to actually run the registry. But once that's done, it's basically the auction. So, what is Radix? Is that your company? What do you do with Radix? Uh, I handle marketing for Radix. Radix is uh, part of a bigger conglomerate uh, known as Directi, a uh, Directi group of companies. We are based out of India, and uh, this is what we do. Radix is a domain name registry. Uh, it's so based one in India, not in London, not in UK. We don't have any offices uh, in London, UK, but we work worldwide through partners like GoDaddy, Name.com, Namecheap, One and One, uh, One to Three Reg, all the guys. So um, I think it's very, very cool that there's a new domain, top level domains. There's lots of new ones. Yes. Uh, but how is it with pricing and are there any free ones or no? So uh, pricing for various, uh, first of all, let me get to all the questions that you asked. The yeah. first one is, yes, there are a lot of uh, new top level uh, domains. There are about almost a thousand of them. But luckily we own some of the best ones right now. You have uh, eight or more? We have eight uh, as of now. We're still acquiring more. Which uh, one is coming up, maybe? So the next one to come up would be Dot .fun, which we'll be launching somewhere in early next year. Uh, we'll be launching that soon. And, uh, Let's we'll confirm you got it. Uh, we've already got it, yeah. yeah. Uh, we've, are there some that are still being discussed? Or there are a few that are still are being so discussed. So you don't want to talk about those? Not, the, not right now. It's not the right, right time to talk about those. Is that uh, money or that? I'm joking. Yeah. So there, there are tons of them, actually. So yeah, we own these eight. Out of them, we've already sold about uh, two million domains uh, on them. And uh, you'll find most of them doing really, really well. Uh, Dotstore was our latest uh, launch, which happened about, store? Yeah, store happened about three months back. And uh, yeah, we've got some really kick-ass websites on it already. Is there any chance that you can see a business model or be allowed to give them out for free for people who actually use them and somehow make money some other way? That's a, uh, I mean, we could, but I mean, companies could, but we wouldn't look at that uh, because our core competence is in the domain names, uh, and we stick to that. We'll sell them for now. So it starts at how much? Uh, depending work? on where you buy them and which TLD you're looking at, it can be priced anywhere from about a couple of dollars to about thirty to forty dollars a year. So, for example, something like Store might be more expensive because it's commercial. Correct. Uh, dot store is a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say expensive, but uh, it's priced a little bit higher than maybe a dot site. Uh, and that's because of not only it's uh, commercial, it's also because of the audience that we're looking at. We're looking at companies in in e-commerce, in retail. Uh, so that target audience is much smaller. And at the same time, they're much more serious. Uh, we don't want, we want to keep the pricing at such a point where uh, not anyone just gets the name and uses it for anything. We want specific com companies to use it, only serious companies to use it. So we price it accordingly. Uh, is it public what you paid for uh, being the ones that own that tech? Uh, it is, you can check it out. Dot tech, I think, is public, the other ones aren't. Uh, How much uh, I'm, I'm not too sure right now, so I don't, wouldn't want to comment without but, exactly so, knowing the price. Uh, but basically, you're allowed to do whatatever you want once you have it? Uh, so when we apply for the uh, domain extension, we actually put down our business plans and we submit those to ICANN. Those have been reviewed. Some of them, uh, all our business plans are fine because uh, our business model is quite straightforward. But there are people who are doing something different with uh, domain names. Uh, you could do something else, uh, keep it closed, for example. I mean, 
there's some people making money with that, but let's say, and I even sold a couple domains because people asked me, but yep. I wish there were not all these people that just buy domains and just for selling them. I know, that's, that, uh, happens still that, happens, that happens to all we domain names. Prevent we cannot prevent, prevent it, but we do, that's, that's where pricing comes into play. So that's why we're not going to price our domains really, really low. Uh, if we do, then we do get a lot of uh, people buying them and just squatting on them. That's why some of our domains would be priced a little higher, like I said, .store, .tech, .host. Uh, these would be priced higher so that it, that prevents people from actually buying them in stock and just sitting on them. But couldn't you like, have a system that there would be a way to use AI or whatever, and like Google could do an API to check if the domain is actually ever being used to just park for, you know? So, uh, you let, you that's not the best way to do it because there are a lot of people who would want to buy the domain name for brand protection. Uh, say, for example, uh, TechCrunch wants to protect all its, bra its brand across all extensions. They would still buy all the domain names but wouldn't actually use them. Uh, that's so that nobody else uses TechCrunch.store to sell their someone else's products on them. So that still is. Uh, but they shouldn't be needing to buy them. They should just nobody should be allowed to take TechCrunch. So we have a process for that in place. Uh, before we launch any TLD, we have a 60-day period called the Sunrise period, where only trademark holders are allowed to register. But after that, it needs to be open for all. Because uh, I'd like to see more people use the web, yes. and not just uh, what's it called. Uh, shark the web, you know, yep. like domain sharks. I agree. You know, and I that's think why it's, in that, a way we that's are helping why out. They're new domains. Yes. That's the whole point, right? Correct. Too many domain sharks. But if there's just more and more domain sharks now or not? So I don't think uh, it's affected the number of people actually squatting or uh, actually purchasing domains just to hold on to. In any way, what we have done is actually given an opportunity for people who didn't get domain names earlier to actually work on these domain names now. They can get the choice of domain name that they want and actually build a business on it. So I think in that way, we're definitely helping out. All these startups are using these kind of domains, right? Oh yeah, that's a brilliant, uh, uh, I can I can name a few. We actually have a couple of uh, startups using a .tech domain name over here. Uh, we have convy.tech and horus.tech in the startup alley right now. Uh, and you can see a lot of them. We had about 20 odd uh, uh, startups at Web Summit using our domain extensions. Uh, and that's growing. Everywhere you'll see uh, people getting onto these extensions so that you, they can get the best name that they want. I saw uh, uh, .google. All right. like Google, no need .com anymore. You just go Google and it uh, shows up. Yeah. But uh, uh, how about these big guys? Do you know what they're doing? Are, are they yet letting people to register all the ones that they got? Oh, yes. Yeah. So let me uh, tell you a couple of the ones. Examples. That, uh, yeah, a couple of examples. So for example, .store uh, is being used by NBA. Uh, so you go to nba.store. Uh, yeah. We've got a couple of names right here. So you can go to nba.store. Uh, CES, the consumer electronics. Hey, CES.tech as their prime. They had CES web before. They had cesweb.org earlier. Terrible. And that's why it makes sense. CES.tech tells you exactly what it is. Uh, they also renamed their company to cda.tech. Uh, so that's, uh, it's basically everyone's already using these extensions. But uh, how about all these thousands that are there? Uh, which one is most popular? Uh, amongst all the uh, yeah. extensions. So it depends where you're looking and what you mean by popular. If it's just in terms of sales, uh, in terms of registration, it's very different because a lot of uh, TLDs are being sold for very low prices. Uh, amongst our own uh, extensions, I can tell you that uh, dot .site is doing really well. It's sold over 600,000 uh, names. Dot .tech is sold over half a million names. Uh, dot .store is just launched. Dot .online was actually one of our biggest uh, launches ever. We sold 34,000 names in the first day itself. Uh, so all of them are doing really, really well. In totality, we've sold over 2 million names amongst these. Uh, and you can see a lot of them already on the Alexa 1 million ranking. There's so many people in the world. Everybody needs a domain. It's not nice that they have to get a very long, complicated name. They need to have a short one. Yeah, short one makes sense. People are not going to remember a long domain name. It's not going to make sense. No one's going to type it in. Uh, getting a short name is very difficult now on a .com. Uh, and that's where we come in. No chance you're gonna just let people have them for free if they use them. That that's something we could explore, but I don't think that would help us in a lot of ways. Keep saying three times in the video. Okay, thanks. Cool. That's awesome. Okay, uh, something host, something press, uh, uh, my that space. No, maybe not. And uh, lots of uh, cool domains right here.